Pisces, welcome to your general reading. I hope you're well. I hope you are fabulous. We're doing yours and there's placements today. We're going to start with the Oracle cards. And before I forget, I'm putting out a call for postcards. I have gotten an increase in postcards in my mailbox recently and I am loving it. I said, let's do something with that. I remember once remarking I'd like to make parts of the background a rotating space for artwork and I said, let's make a collage with postcards, but I need more of them. I typically get letters, which is cool. And I do try to send thank you notes to those people who bother to write right. Um, and that's, because again, I think writing is a lost art. So I appreciate that, but I would like to get some postcards, you guys. Let me know where you're from. I've been getting uh, postcards from all over the world as well as within the U.S. Send me a postcard. It might end up here in the background, yeah? Hopefully you will. And again, that mailbox address is in the description box. Also, just to let you know, I'm getting the word out. We are now on Facebook. A part of me is kind of glad I got banned from Instagram because so far it's been a much more positive experience. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The account's only a couple weeks old, so maybe all the crazy hasn't kicked in yet. But so far, I've only had to ban one person. Whereas with Instagram, that was like a daily thing. <laughs> Which is ironic because Facebook owns Instagram. But you know, it doesn't appeal to the same class of person, I suppose. <laughs> But anyway, my point is, yeah, the social media party is continuing on over at Facebook. Again, the link is in the description box. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Okay, what's going on for Pisces? Show me Pisces, please. What's going on for my Pisces? What's going on for my spicy Pisces? What's going on? Show me Pisces. Oh, oh, caring connections. Well, that's lovely. That's sweet. 14. Now that caring connections here, this is anyone whom you care for that you are connected to. So of course that could be family and friends. It could also be romantic in nature. We shall see. We shall see. The 14th might be important to some of you. But caring connections. Caring for family, friends, showing appreciation. Oh, that's lovely. If, you know, you might be in that space, Pisces, honey, where you're just trying to show extra effort and appreciation to those people you are immediately connected to, the people who actually care about your, uh, your well-being as a person. Just showing a little extra TLC to those people who matter. Now, it might be that your family and friends are going through some hard times, in which case you're clearly the support effort in this energy. Um, and for some of you, you kind of wish it was the other way around. Significant connections, you wish they would show you more appreciation, but for the most part, I see this as active positivity. And it's interesting, too, because it's ascension numbers, 14 and 15. You know, one leads to the other. The more appreciation you put into the connections around you that foster you, that give you a good sense of support and growth and emotional stability, those are the ones you should be putting your attention into and nothing else, right? Care for those who care for me. The fair exchange of balanced energy, okay? And like I said, for some of you, yeah, you wish you got a little more appreciation from that person you've identified as special, but we shall see. All right, we're going to start with your side. And I say that, but of course, energies can be reversed. Collective readings being what they are, so take what resonates, leave what does not. And then, of course, reversals apply. Show me. Show me Pisces, please. What is going on for Pisces? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Piscean energy. What's going on for Pisces, please? Show me Pisces. King of Wands, confidence, passion, direction, ambition. That's always a nice way to kick off. What else, please? Energy focus as well. The Empress. Mm, wow. You're showing me a great deal of confidence and energy towards someone here who is important to you. What else, please? So far, so good. What else, please? Show me Pisces in future, please. Pisces in future. King of Swords. Determination here. You're showing me a lot of personality today. You're showing me determination, drive, passion, conclusion. What's going on? There's someone here who's important to you. Now, some of you might be putting a lot of care into a family member, particularly if it's an older person, like an elderly mother figure. Okay, that's for some of you, not all of you. That's just an FYI. 
Uh, but that would also explain the appreciation and the caring and attention some of you are currently in supporting roles for other people that are very important to you. Um, particularly if you feel like you're in a position of having to take care of someone. But uh, in going back to our love energy, though, in terms of a significant other, if you will, you're showing a lot of care and attention towards someone whom you've identified as being very important to you. You stand up for them, you have energy for them, you have passion for them, you have drive for them, I believe. We will clarify, but so far, you're showing me a lot of personality and a lot of will towards someone here who's important to you. Who is surrounding Pisces, please? Who is surrounding Pisces? Who is surrounding Pisces? Who is surrounding Pisces, please? Page of Cups. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, not exactly the same as your... Okay. They're opening up to you. All right. Well, that's a natural progression of energy then. Page of Cups to the Seven of Cups. They're trying to open up to you in terms of emotional expression, being more comfortable in their emotional energy towards you. Okay. What else, please? One more for this person in the future. King of Cups. That's full-on ascension. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Good job, whoever that is. <laughs> Yay. At first, a little concern of the Page of Cups, and you're showing me a King of Wands. Okay. We're not always in the same space at the same time. That's cool. Uh, but literally, their energy is warming up in all the positive ways, in all the positive directions. Um, I got three kings here. I got three, sexual element and tarot, I don't care, male, female, designation, whatever that is. It's about the energy of the thing. So they went from a page of cups to a seven of cups to a king of cups. Literally, their heart space is developing and unfolding towards you in a natural direction. It's natural progression, which is always a good thing. That's lovely. You know, if it's going to start out with a page, okay, but I better see some growth on that, right? And that's exactly what they did. Uh, their energy is, energetically speaking, emotionally specifically, that's all water, is that they are opening up towards you, um, and then they develop a full-on heart space for you. Wow. Wow. Show me that shared energy, please. Show me that shared energy, please. Show me that shared energy, please. Now, whether there's someone new to you, I do not know. If it's an established connection, I do not know. Let's take a look. Show me the shared energy, please. Show me the shared. Show me that shared energy, please, for Pisces and that person. Five of Wands. Some combativeness, some battle of wills here, resistance, hopefully not arguing, I don't know. Hmm, it could be the Page of Cups, is that an apology too? Oh, <laughs> that might well be. What else please, show me, what else please in that shared energy? Six of Wands. Okay, so again, natural progression, five to six. We went from a negative to a positive. Again, this is a good thing. Uh, you two are trying to get back on track with your energies. Perhaps they did drop an apology then. Okay. Cool. What else, please? One more. The future, please, for Pisces and their person. Queen of Cups. All is well. Yay! It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Nice. Nice. You're showing me matching energies. All right, whatever this is, honey, you two get back on the same page. Uh, whatever. There was some tension here. It's looking like you two are trying to smooth it out, work it out, and you two get back on course. It looks like there might have been a little tiff and or argument between you two. How far it goes, what the argument was, I don't know. But it's looking like we reopened the lines of communication in a way that's a little bit more effective and smooths things out. Show me the overview, please. <clears throat> Show me the overview, please. What's trying to show here? The Knights of Cups trying to open back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me the overview, please, for Pisces. I must say, yours is a hell of a contrast compared to Scorpio's, honey. Mm -mm. Show me the overview, please.
Over. Mm -mm. Too many thoughts, too many thoughts, too many feelings, too many thoughts. Let's put it back. Ace of Wands renewal for some of you. Yes, there was a break. Okay, a little backstory. For some of you, there was a full-on break with this person. You parted ways, but you had a feeling that things would get tried again if you put in both if you both put in a renewed sense of effort. That was correct. Okay, you got it. Let's focus that down. It was a break, but it was temporary. It was not of some standing. You had to work your shit out. They had to work their shit out. Somebody had to go take a time out, cool off in the corner, shit like that. Um, it's it's really simple, okay? But you, that doesn't mean you two didn't mean a lot to each other. It's just you probably had what is natural in human relationships called tension. You, <laughs> Honey, if one human being in and of themselves is already complex, and we are as individuals, put those two complexities together with someone else. Yeah, you're going to have tension. You're going to have arguments. But the thing is, if you two mean something to each other, and if you actually want to progress, you'll fucking make it happen. That's the way relationships work. If you really want to resolve your differences and move forward in the name of love, you will. Um, so for those of you who had a break with somebody, it might have been explosive and out of anger, but it wasn't meant to be a full-on break. Um, somebody offered a peace offering in terms of renewing the energy and trying harder, and it looks like that was accepted by who, what, or where, I don't know. But uh, I see the tension here, but for the most part... It's so small, man. It's so small. It's barely pinging the radar. You two are smoothing things out now as we speak. Show me the overview, please. A little more, little more TLC. You understand? A little bit more appreciation. Not just appreciation for them, but for them too. It's a shared thing. You have to show more care and love towards each other, appreciation of each other, the little things, the big things, making time for each other, the compliments, the time to take, time out and enjoy each other's energy in a calm, peaceful way that cannot be diluted by other energies. It's just you and them and appreciating each other and the connection for what it is that will help bring it back together. Can I get an overview, please? I'm not sure why we're here today. Pisces, have a good day. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Your cards aren't talking to me anymore. <laughs> it's like, problem solved, Christina. We're good. Yeah, you are. I'll see you in a couple weeks, honey. <laughs> no, good job. I'm glad you worked it out. Show me the overview. Seriously. Oh my. Okay, the devil. Like I said, we had some shit to work out. Now, you might have some Capricorn in your chart. You could be dealing with one that's not really the point. Let's see what the issue was. Okay. Because it's looking like we're trying to resolve it now with our person. Which one, please? Show me. Show me the devil. What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> who did what who said what <laughs> what bullshit was kicking up and stirring the pot you two had to go separate in corners take a breather come back got it no problem Ooh, emperor somebody had a little stubborn thing going on what was that insistence about oh my 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 Aries capricorn that's a hell of a combination right there Ooh, that is some strong willedness here what's up with this Somebody was insisting upon a point that not necessarily was good for them. And in which cases, I like to quote Dr. Phil. Do you? I can't believe I do that, Jesus. But he has one thing right that I absolutely agree with. Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Because this is uncompromising energy right here. That's insistence for the sake of it. So we had a little battle of wills here. Somebody was insisting upon a point that wasn't necessarily true, but they very, 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 very much believed in it and backed it up. Okie dokie. What was the big argument about? I don't even know it was an argument. It was like a silent battle of wills over here. I'm right and I know I'm right. Even if it's at the sake of jeopardizing the love energy, that kind of thing. What else, please? What, what, what about the devil? What about it? What about the devil? What about the emperor? What were we insisting upon here? It was such a small thing. I'm sure it started out as a seed of an idea, but led into a bigger case of fear. No matter what it was, it was super small. That's how these things start, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And a page of pentacles, whatever it is, it was small, but it got planted. This fear, the insecurity, the, the devil's here. Fears, insecurities, addiction, sure, but also a really, 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 really strong point that we come to believe is true, even if it's based on very little. So in other words, somebody made a mountain out of a molehill. That's what we're talking about today. 
Okay. So I'm glad to see it wasn't too substantial, but it was substantial enough that it fucked up the energy equation between you and them, and I did see a temporary break there. Okay, but I also see two people who are resolved to figure out their shit. <clears throat> to show more appreciation and also most likely exchanging points of view that is actually healthy and conducive to a relationship as opposed to the opposite. So, yeah, it's looking like what started out as a small thing blew up and out of proportion and somebody insisted that something else was true. And it's largely based on insecurity, not much substance behind it, but by God, we stood by it. Somebody had a hard time letting their hair down? <laughs> Saying they were wrong? Waving that white flag was just too hard for a while. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's so small. Then I got these big energies backing up this really small thing. I got two big guardsmen here that are both insisting that they're correct. And it's something over so, so small. So turville. And it was coming from a not great place, but then we insisted upon it. We insisted upon it. So, I don't know who that is. You or them. I say somebody's making an apology here after an argument. So. Okay. <laughs> Let's shake up the energy. Are we staying or switching? Okay. All right. Let's get that energy back on track. Well, let's get it. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. So it is rooted in fear and somebody's unspoken fears about something being true and it may not have been. I'm not saying you or the other person is an asshole. I'm saying one little thing, and I mean one little thing that probably didn't have much weight to it, got fed incessantly in all the wrong ways and it got blown out of proportion. So whatever that is, you fill in the blanks as it relates to you, Pisces. Okay? Or your person. You can put in the comments as you see fit. Yeah, we blew up over a text method and... They didn't express themselves well. I took it the wrong way. I, I don't know. It's something like that. Okay? It's something like that. The point is, I see two people trying to work their shit out. And that's all I care about. Okay? We want to show more appreciation and care for the person, not less. We're not done with this. Yeah, sometimes pride and ego. Pride, you boil everything down. Emperor's pride, devil's ego. You boil it down, pride and ego got in the way over something so fucking small. It was like a tic-tac. Okay. Pride and ego got in the way. Either you, them, or the both of you. That's it. That's all we're seeing here today, folks. Again, you can still tune out and see in a couple weeks because I see two people who are determined to work their shit out and move things forward. Show me the King of Wands, please. Oh, Page of Wands. There it is. Oh, you two is talking. Oh, you two is talking. You're trying to put your energy back or open it back up and towards a positive. It's small, but you feel good about it. King of Wands is here. The confidence is here. The passion is still here. The interest to try is still here. So you two are trying to talk. You still have feeling for this. You're not trying to put too much of yourself into it, but you have hope. You have hope simply because, Pisces, honey, you love this person. They mean a lot to you, and I can tell it's the same. Okay? What else, please? You're showing me hope and a willingness to try. You're still engaged in this person's energy. It still feels warm. Sometimes it gets a little heated. That's okay. That's realistically what happens between two people from time to time. From time to time, we push on each other, whether we mean to or not. The point is we show more love and care for the situation, not less. Okay? There you go. That's better. The fool. You're trying to keep an open energy towards this. It's like, yes, you are open to resolving the situation. Whatever went down, who said what, who did what, who failed to say what, who failed to do what, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, Pisces, your energy is still saying, I'm, I'm showing a willingness to spirit to try, and it's coming from a good, positive place within me. It's spiritual. It feels good. I'm warming back up to this person's energy because I want to, not because I have to. I'm trying to pre keep things positive and light, right? Because you want to. You want, literally, things to work out. You do. All right. Why? Because this person's an empress to you. They mean a lot to you. Otherwise, you know, I wouldn't be seeing it. Show me the Empress, please. So if you're that Pisces who's tuning in today to see all the worst and I hate them, this is not that Pisces. I'm looking at a Pisces who's seeing their relationship largely as positive and that they're willing to work on it. So if you're here hoping today I was going to trash the other person, that's not happening, honey. 
I don't like doing that shit anyway. Uh, the only time I see it, as in terms of this is not a good person, is because the cards are literally telling me, honey, that person's an asshole. In which case, I'll tell you. So if you're here looking to trash on your ex and to validate what you experienced, that's not what I'm saying, honey. Sorry. A lot of people watch terror for that vengeance shit. I'm not into it. I'm interested in working with energies that really want to solve their problems. That really want to expand their love language. Are you perfect? No. Am I going to say some bullshit for you? Most likely. Um... Because you've got problems too, so do they. You both have proven that as human beings. But you also have proven as reasonable and loving human beings that you want to work your shit out. Show me the Empress, please. Show me the Empress, please. Told you. Fucking, I'm looking at a Pisces today. You love your person. This is undisputed. King of Cups, the Empress. Not only do you have a great deal of mature love for this person, you see them in a very high regard and you hold them thusly. Okay, that's why you're so interested in working things out with your person. Not because you don't love them, but because in fact you do. Okay, now, you're showing me King of Swords in the future. Determination, hear this person out, use your rational skills, or logical skills. Show me this King of Swords, please. Show me this King of Swords, please. Two of Wands, you're listening. You're talking, you're listening, you're communicating, okay? You also have a kind of decision in you, but you, for the most part, are trying to show me an open mind and listening to your person. That's what the whole thing is. Uh, anything else, please, about the King of Swords? Queen of Cups, you're choosing love. I don't know what else to tell you. So congratulations to you, Pisces. Um, you're, you're showing me a lot of love and respect for this person. You're willing to listen to them with your rational mind and make decisions accordingly. You're choosing to listen to them and trust your feeling. Your instinct is here. Your intuition is here. You embody both the King and Queen of Cups twice uh, within your own energy. And uh, you are trying to greet this situation with enthusiasm because, case in point, you love this person and you think very well of them. You're listening to them. You're talking to them and it's coming from a space of love. So you are determined to make things work. That's it. End of fucking story. Why are you here? It's beautiful. There's more than what I can say for most people. So congratulations. This is great. Beautiful. And why? Because you two have a real solid history of love between you. You are invested in them. You are interested in making things work. So again, if you're tuning in today hoping to see the worst, that's not the Pisces I'm looking at. The Pisces I'm looking at is very much in love with their person and wants to do the best for them. Um, and they're trying to show this appreciation, care, consideration. Because fundamentally, no matter what went down between you and your person, you still love them. Uh, cross watchers, if this isn't you and you're angry, that's, that's, what can I tell you? This isn't you. Sorry. I don't know why so many people watch Tarot looking for vengeance, honey. It makes me sad. It makes me so fucking sad. And sick. Well, that's not why I'm here, honey. Real Tarot reflects real life. Like I said, if there's an asshole, I'm gonna say it. But so far, I'm not seeing asshole energy. You are well and truly invested in this person for all the right reasons. You want to open back up to them for all the right reasons. Now, let's see if this was a little apology that they extended your way. And again, if you take offense to that, I don't know what to tell you. You know, like I said, we had a little molehill, we turned it into a mountain. And it was based out of ego, stubbornness, sense of self-righteousness, I know I'm right, I know I'm right, I know I'm right. Well, like I said, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Mm. <clears throat> so far, I'm seeing two people who are choosing to be happy. Okay. Page of Cups, please. <laughs> Thumbs up for happiness. You know what I'm saying? Too many people are content to be just fucking miserable and pissed off, and then they want it to be justified in the cards. I'm not into that. Show me the Page of Cups, please. Show me the Page of Cups, please. I say good on you, honey. Scorpio's had all sorts of problems. Good lord. My hair does get everywhere, doesn't it? Show me the page of cups, please. Oh, yours might actually be a short one. Show me that page of cups, please. And that's the rule, at least with my channel. <laughs> it's usually the rule. The shorter they are, the less problems they have. Page of cups, please. <laughs> 
So thank you for making my job easier today. I appreciate you. Show me that page of cups, please. Show me the page of cups. Show me the page of cups. Show me the page of cups. Show me the page of cups for this person surrounding Pisces. Show me. Three of cups. There it is. Boom. There's the message. Let's get back together. Let's try. So they are offering an apology. Let's try to get together. It's coming from a peaceful place as far as I can tell. They are trying to open up to positive change. That is the underlying. Cool. Um, so that happened fairly recently in the past. For some of you, it is upcoming, but for now, I have to say it's fairly recent in the past. There's the offer to get together. There's the apology. You said, let's do it. Let's try it. I'm going to keep an open mind to this. You kept the bigger part of your fire in check, but yet the hope remains and your best intentions remained with the full energy. So you open back up to this person's apology, their efforts to renew, so on and so forth. So again, there was temporary breakage. I saw that and your overwhelming fallout. <laughs> For your overview, it was a temporary break and it looks like it was a little explosive. Yeah, there was some heat on it. Mm -hmm. But uh, here it is, the offer to get together. Okay, and try again. Ace of Wands is renewal in this respect. There you are reacting to it positively. Here they are offering it with sincerity. Uh, really, there was a break underlying this person's energy, telling you. So there was a little blow up here. And I do believe they dropped the apology. It made you feel good. And it puts you in a space of receiving their energy positively. You're showing care. Because if they are really well and truly apologizing and coming forward with the best intentions to renew. Ace of Wands in this respect is renewal. Um, I don't feel like this is an ex. I, I really don't. I'm not seeing that energy. I might. But for many of you, I'm just seeing it as this is someone whom you were deeply connected to. You had a lot of strong feelings for. You had a temporary separation as in like a soft break or you had an argument and you went into respective corners for a timeout. I don't think it was a full on, oh, we broke up two years ago and now they're dropping me a communication about getting back together. It doesn't feel like that. The energy is so very, very strong. This relationship feels a lot more developed than that. But take it as it resonates, honey. I just try to give people the specifics as they roll in, okay? Okay. Some of that Seven of Cups, please, for this person. Like I said, I was happy to see a natural progression. And this is sincerity. It is sincerity to renew. It is sincerity to see and connect. And I do believe an apology was attached to it. Yes. Okay. Some of the Seven of Cups, please. <clears throat> Let me see what this little argument is about. <laughs> Your Five of Wands shared past. Some of that Seven of Cups, please. Some of that Seven of Cups, please. Ah, three of pentacles in reverse. Oh. Yeah, surprise, surprise. No, they don't want to be friends. They've made that clear. Did they drop a connection? Did they drop a connection that might have been a poor influence? No, they don't want to be friends. They're telling me that very clearly. They don't want to be friends with you. They want to be love energy to you. You want to be love energy to them, too. Mm. What else, then? Five of Cups. They said their sadness when they lost the connection. Yeah, I see that. They regretted the situation. And Six of Swords in reverse. They didn't want to move on. They still want to see you that way in love, not as friends. If there was a poor attachment around them, possibly a poor influence, that person seems to be gone. But I see that they no longer want to be connected to a place of pain. They also don't want to move on. They say they want to stay here. Okay. I'd like to see some stronger healing elements in this person. See the five of pentacles in reverse. They want to come out in the reverse with you. I got that. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. They are showing me regret. And they're trying to expand their cups towards you. Seven of Cups is the base primary. I like to dig on motivation. It just helps me understand more. 
They're saying they don't want to move on. I got that. But when they lost the connection, it hurt, and it put them in a place of pain, and they're trying to open their cups back up towards you. You seem to be all for it. You seem to be reacting to them quite strongly. And they have the reflection of the Empress of you, too. So you had the Empress on your midline right here, and they're reflecting it right back at you, baby. So they still very much hold you in high regard. They don't want to move on. They've tried. Mm, doesn't work, right? Uh, in fact, they regretted it. <sighs> Three of Pentacles in the reverse. First of all, they don't want to be friends with you. Not in that way, right? They want love options with you. Uh, they're showing me a sense of regret for the lost connection. Three of Pentacles is in the reverse. There might have been some poor advice from friends or family or some sort of influence. I'm not saying third party, please don't allow your mind to jump to the worst places. I would have to see a lot more than a three of pentacles in the reverse before I even said that. But it's looking to me that there might have been some sort of influence and they dropped that friend or they dropped that person who might not have been so conducive to their feelings or connection or something like that. Uh, but they're reflecting me, to me, the Empress. They still see you as terribly, terribly important. They don't want to move on from you. Apologies, apologies, apologies. So this one is, it's, it's got some real remorse in it. Uh, it's got some real remorse in it, some real sadness, in which case I hope you take it seriously because I am. I can see it from their point of view. So um, I hope you're not sitting there being all, hee 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 hee. I see, I told them they were fucking wrong. That's not the Pisces I'm looking at. Pisces I'm looking at is not rejoicing in this person's sadness or sense of regret or I'm sorry. They're rejoicing in the fact that this person is coming back in the way that they, they knew they could. Which was with love and respect. Okay. That's the Pisces I'm looking at. Alright. Some of that person's King of Cup, please. Some of that King of Cup, please. Some of that King of Cup, please. You two are showing me a lot of water. A lot of healthy emotions in here. This person had a real experience with you. And when it broke, no matter how small or temporary, it hurt. Whatever the reason was, whatever the argument was, they said they didn't know. They said they didn't want to move on. They didn't feel it was correct. They're sorry they lost the connection with you. Four of Pentacles. What are we holding on to here? Ah, oh, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. It, 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 they, they, no, I mean, they had a lot of emotional attachment to you. As we know, the Four of Pentacles isn't always a good thing. But the idea is it went from a Four to an Ace. It's like, I have a lot of strong feelings here I wasn't ready to part ways with, and I don't think I ever was. I have something really real and solid and valid with Pisces, and that's what I want to keep going. And they're talking to you about this, and you hear them. You hear their point of view. You're gracious with your energy. You're loving. You're understanding. You're all the things Pisces is known for. These are all your superpowers on display right here. Um, your sense of intuition, your sense of caring, your sense of I hear you. Like, that is literally one of your superpowers is I hear you. Okay? And you're listening with a lot of gracious energy, a lot of forgiveness in you, and it's it's beautiful. It's lovely. You want to work your shit out with this person. Now, the Four of Pentacles here at the King of Cups, they have very strong feelings from you. They, they held on to and they continue to, and it seems to be the basis for their Ace of Pentacles with you. Okay, um, They have a certain strength of conviction in their feelings, and while they may not have the biggest display of them, this person feels deeply, but they may not display them all the time. It's another interpretation of the Four of Pentacles over that King and or Queen of Cups. It's just, I got big feelings. I may not be the most expressive with them. Sometimes I can be quiet, but that doesn't mean I don't have them. Ace of Pentacles. And I see you over there listening to them fully telling me that you understand what they're saying. So I know you know this person very, very well. Otherwise, you wouldn't be accepting this so graciously. You can hear it. It's just like you just needed them to say this. Um, so what that little explosion is, let's take a look. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and sometimes, honey, people need to separate in order to come back and really appreciate each other, each other's point of view, how we express ourselves, what we're thinking, why we're thinking it, why we're feeling it. Um, you know, and I, I just, I have every reason to believe that this person feels deeply. They do. They might be a little bit more on the conservative side of their feelings, but that doesn't mean they don't feel any less. 
okay? I know that they deeply regret the loss of the connection. They want to open those cups back up. They can't move on. They still have a very high regard for you as the Empress. And so long as you feel that whatever they're telling you is acceptable in terms of this makes sense to me, I can empathize with that. I understand that. I can feel that. I get that. I've been through it too. Then that's acceptable to you. You're telling me, your energy is telling me, whatever they're telling you is acceptable to you because you understand it fundamentally. Perhaps you've been through it too. You're showing me a great deal of empathy and are willing to listen to them. So it's it, they're telling you the things not that you want to hear, but that you need to hear from their points of view. And you seem to be taking that as acceptable. I understand it. Um, I get you better now. I understand you better now. Um, but I like this. I like this little admission over here. That's so sweet. The Page of Cups, Three of Cups, Ace of Wands. Can we try again, please? I, I would like to connect with you. Um, I have something to talk to you about. And here they are. They're just, they're just laying it out, man. They're just laying it out. They're just completely 100% spilling their guts about what's up, what happened. I, I never meant to lose this connection with you. Um, I never wanted to leave it. I hold you in very high regard. I regret whatever that is. Let's let's speaking of which, let's talk. Let's do it. Let's take a look at that. What was this tip? What was this insistence? Oh my yes. Show me that five of wands, please. Show me that five of wands. Which one? Okay. Show me that five of wands, please. Show me that five of wands, please. Show me that five of wands. Show me that five of wands, please. Show me that five of wands between Pisces and their person. Show me the argument. What's this about, honey? Talk to me. I'm actually highly sympathetic with this person. It takes so much to own your shit like this. It takes so fucking much to own your shit like this. God, if more people did this, honey. If more people did this. Let their ego down. Their sense of fear down. Whatever monster they were feeding, it was low level, but it was enough that they insisted on it. Somebody did. It was either you or them. I don't know. But um, if more people did this, honey, I wouldn't have a job. Tarot might be a part-time job or a quarter-time job. If people could just say what they fucking feel and experience and bless you, look at your energy. You're saying, I understand. Yes, I want to try. I do. I do. I know what I got. I know what I got in you. I know I fucking do. Thank you for trying. Thank you for showing me effort. I'm listening to you. I can hear you. I'm validating your experience. I'm going to val you. You're validating mine. I get it. This is beautiful, honey. I dare say this. This is just so. Fuck. God, I wish I could see stuff like this more often. People let their ego down. And apologize from a real space. Look at your energy. It's beautiful. It's almost like you're proud of them, too. And you're so listening. You're just listening. You're so sympathetic. You're empathetic. You're validating. You're doing what you do best, in other words. Show me the Five of Wands, please. Oh. Knights of Wands in reverse. That is kind of an accusation, isn't it? Somebody's steam and or energy and or passion was out of it. But it was coming out in the wrong ways. It was coming out in argument. Uh, argument. What's that? What's that about? Lack of drive, lack of ambition. Knight of Wands is in reverse. That's not a good thing. Uh, this is our drive. This is our energy, man. This is our steam. Like, for instance, just, just for comparison. So when I get up and I start my day, I'm Knight of Wands. I got motivation. I'm ready to go. I got energy. I got passion. Let's do this. That's the Knight of Wands, yeah? So somebody who was in the reverse for that, they ain't got none of that. There's a little fight there. There's no drive, there's no ambition, there's no goals. What the hell's going on? So there was heat coming in, but it was in the wrong way. It was coming in as a form of an argument about lack of drives, goals, and or ambitions. What's up with that? Yet, the feelings were here. It was coming from a place of love, the Queen of Cups. So we had argument that was born in sincerity. Okay. That's how these things are, man. When real couples who are very strong and their love energies towards each other, and it's real. You don't have to question it. I haven't seen confusion for either one of you once, which is beautiful. No two of swords, no two of pinnacles, none of that shit. Um, when two people love each other this strongly and you have an argument, I promise you it's coming from a place of love. There was an argument here that came from a good space of, hey, 
Somebody here is accusing the other person. You don't have any drives here. You have no goals. You have no ambitions. What the hell's going on? You need to get a job. You need to have more feeling about this. You need to give me more sense of what the hell we're doing. Whatever that argument looked like. It was coming from a place of love. Concern, in other words. There was an argument her. This, something's not happening. We got energy here, but it's coming out the wrong way. Somebody needs to show more oomph in life. Somebody doesn't have enough passion or goals. Something like that. But it was coming from a place of sincerity, Queen of Cups. So it was one or the both of you, perhaps the accusation was swinging both ways, and somebody got pissed off about it. And they kind of doubled down. So what started out as a natural argument turned into a big old battle of stubborn-ass wills. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it could have to do with work. It could have to do with the love energy between you two. It could have had to do with life path goals. Fuck if I know. The point is, is that this argument, whatever happened here, it came from a space of love and real genuine concern and caring, and it pissed the other person off out of proportion. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just blew up somebody's ego, or it blew up their sense of fears about something they've always kind of knew was true, but they didn't want to deal with. You understand me? Mm. And I know that there was a temporary break in there. And I just see them offering an apology, and you seem to be being very gracious with their energy. You're not making them pay for it. God, I hate that shit. You're not making them pay for it. You're not making them work for it. You're not making them feel bad about it. Actually, you're telling me you empathize and that you're saying I understand. You're telling me that you understand. They still hold you in very high regard. You still hold them in very high regard. All right? I'm not saying the manipulation here. I think you two had what looked like, honestly, a very natural argument that was coming from a loving pace or space of concern. And it just it just got out of control. And it caused a blip in the relationship. And a blip, honey, between two people who love each other ain't shit. That's the truth of it. If a blip can completely obliterate a relationship, it weren't a real relationship. Okay. Sorry. You can go ahead and thumbs me down if you want to. That, that's real talk, honey. I'm looking at a Pisces today who had a real deal with somebody and they are interested in continuing resuming that real deal. Okay? They want to make their shit work with their person. Show me. Show me that six of wands, please. Well, I'm just pissing people off today. You can have some intense cross watchers, my friend. You can have some intense cross watchers. Some of that six of one. You, Taurus, and Scorpio. Those three collectives can have some really intense cross watchers. Some of the six of ones, please. Show me that six of ones. Show me. Oh. See, there's that four of pentacles. Four of pentacles. That's interesting. Show me more about that. What is this about? Holding back from the confidence, trying to keep the... Oh, there it is. There it is. That's what I was looking for. There's a reason I bridged it. I did that unconsciously. You know, trying to refrain from the ego. Trying to refrain from the ego. That, that thing that got this thing out of proportion. We're trying to refrain from the ego. Four pinnacles over the six of wands. Trying to hold back the ego. Okay. 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 I got gotcha. you. I'm on the trail. I'm on the trail. What else, please, about the six of wands? Sometimes I do shit and I don't even know I'm doing it until I put those six. We still have a commitment here. We have the hair font. So what commitment is to you? I don't know. I would have to see stronger evidence to support the concept of marriage. Like the hair font on his own is not enough and the four of wands on its own is not enough. I would need to see them either together or with justice and so on. But yeah, no, we still have a commitment here to try the both of you. That you both feel confident about. Somebody is trying to do a better job, however, of leaving their ego out of it. Okay? So, yeah. But no, we still have a strong sense of commitment to this. We do. Okay. The Queen of Cups is here multiple times. As well as the King of Cups. Some of that Queen. <clears> hmm. <throat> I got some ear pressure today. Show me that Queen of Cups, please. Ace of Wands, bingo bango. Fucking called it, baby. Fucking called it. Y'all, y'all good. Keep on keeping on. 
That's it. That's all there is, honey. That's all there is. Bye. Short video today. Good. <laughs> like I said, the short ones means fewer problems. It's not because I don't love you any less, honey. It's because your energies are telling me they're cooperating and moving towards the best interest, not the worst interest. That's it. Congratulations to you and your person for being good people. You understand what you got. Ace of Wands renewal. We're going to continue on in the good faith and hope of this love. That understanding that, yes, our passion is a good thing. Sometimes it gets out of control, especially when we involve the ego and somebody's sensitive subject area. So mm, we done stepped on somebody's toes in this equation. Somebody's toes got stepped on, their ego got hurt, they got butt broke, butt bruised, whatever you want to call it. And uh, there was a temporary separation. I'm telling you this shit's normal. It's normal because it's healthy. <laughs> when two people really are meant to be together, it's not that they're arguing every day. It's just inevitably, and it is inevitable, that when two people come together for the reasons of love, and they're well-founded in love, and you are well-founded in love with this person, as well as mutual respect, you're eventually going to have your passion go in the opposite direction as we come to terms with things like arguments, ego drives, agendas, misplaced energy, and misunderstandings. This is going to happen. It's going to clash. You don't want to clash every day. This is not a healthy relationship. I'm not talking about the people who fight with their person every week, break up every week, and get back together. This is not healthy. That is fucking toxic. That's no good. You shouldn't be doing that every week or every day or every month. It's like, oh, we had another blow up. I guess I'm going to exit... And then I'll be back in a couple of weeks. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about two people who realistically had an argument. It was coming from a place of love. It was well meant. But somebody's toes got stepped on. Their ego got bruised. We realized our mistake. There was a temporary, brief, I believe, separation. The other person felt bad about it. Having lost the connection, they are regretful for it. They didn't want to move on. They still hold you in high regard. You do too. You're being extremely gracious with your energy because they're really showing you appreciation. They're showing you care and appreciation. You two are focusing each other's energies back where they belong on each other without interference or a bunch of bullshit. And then we understand that this person has deep feelings. It's just sometimes they hold on to them and that might have been part of the ego. You see how it's building back together? Do you see the bridges? And that might have been part of it. They just may have a hard time parting ways with their natural feeling of expression, but that doesn't make them any less sincere. And I know you know that because you're literally looking at them and saying, I understand, I understand, I, understand. I know these things about you. I know these things. Who do you think I'm talking? I know you. I know you. I know who you are. You know, it's just, I promise you this was coming from a good place. I didn't mean to upset you. I didn't mean to hurt, hurt you. I know you have a hard time relinquishing the bigger part of your feelings. Not that you don't have them. It's just sometimes they don't always come out as fluidly as mine do. I know that about you. I'm not stupid, honey, bae, boo, whatever you want to call them. It's, but no, it's still coming from a well-founded place. It is. All right? So you're doing a better job of accepting what you know was probably misplaced energy on their part. And they're doing a better job of opening back up to you in a way that's fluid and sincere. I can't stress that enough. They are trying to rectify this. But it does have to come from a place of sincerity and speaking our truth here. And showing care and respect towards each other in order for your energy to unfold like this. Because you're fucking... Dude, your energy is 100% on point in terms of receiving them. Your shared energy suggests you're both doing more than trying. You're thriving. Okay. Uh, it's beautiful. So whatever this little blow up was, it's fine. You two are still going to be committed to the cause of rebuilding your bridges and your unions and showing more care towards each other. And I do see you going through what looks like a kind of isolation period between you two so that you can refocus on each other. In other words, you're having a little, excuse me, honeymoon period. I don't know that you're actually on honeymoon. You know, I mean, that reclusion energy the couples take so they can just focus on each other. That's what I'm talking about. Because your energy is so concentrated on each other in your future orientation um, it's just you two recommitting to each other in terms of your relationship energy, and it's beautiful. Um, yeah, you both seem to be committed to that cause. This person's going to do a better job <laughs> of trying to refrain from that ego. Um, they seem to have a better understanding of that now, and it's beautiful, and it's glorious, and I say good on both of you. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm loving it. Keep on keeping on, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. 
caring connections and appreciation. That's that's all she wrote. <laughs> okay, so when this person came back with the apology and the offers to reconnect with a strong sense of renewal and they, they're over here spilling their guts, I don't know, it looks like it's already happened or it's on the verge of it. The energy is so concentrated, I can't quite tell. Um, uh, I'll try. When does this... Uh, when does this uh, energy reintroduce itself, please? When does this energy reintroduce itself, please? For some of you, not till October. For some of you, the 14th specifically might be important, so go back and check your time frames on that. For others of you, four weeks. Approximately four weeks. Or, while one of you is possibly on that so-called break, um, where it seems like there's not much activity, whenever they get through their retreat period under the Four Swords, or you do, meditation, contemplation, possibly vacation, okay? Um, possibly, could, you know what? For some of you who are on vacation, or you plan to go on vacation, or they do, for some of you that's specifically when it's going to happen. During a restful phase. But for others of you, a month, roughly, Upwards to October. For some of you, it might have happened about four weeks ago, though. Or literally ten days ago, fourteen days, fourteen weeks ago, something like that. I don't know. I can't quite tell. Like I said, this the energy is so con concentrated, I'm having a hard time. They're showing me a lot of fours. Four, eight, twelve. Fours, as I said that. Fucking as I said that, dude. Four, eight, twelve. On course, sixteen. For some of you, less than four. Whatever that means. Okay, when uh, when do things absolutely smooth out between Pisces and this person? It, magician, it's going to happen sooner rather than later. And to me, October is nothing, by the way. For those of you who are like, uh, October. No, yeah, well, to me, that's right around the corner. That's nothing. Tarot time is completely different than what you and I are used to. <laughs> Tarot time. <laughs> mm. But yeah, for some of you, it's happening relatively soon. Right, so the energy is so concentrated. Continue to manifest your best energies and intentions towards this person. The 12th might be important. Well, it's coming up. It's coming up. We've got an upcoming conversation for some of you. For some of you have to insist it's while you're doing your period of rest or it's their period of rest and they've had time to reflect or this is the space you're in now. And like I said, they're in their corner, you're in your corner. Okay. Two weeks. Two days, two weeks. I don't know. I'm so concentrated. It can't be any later than October. I sincerely doubt that. It might have been last October is when you two fell out as well. That is kind of a longer break, though. Um, I'm seeing something that happened much more immediately, but the turnaround for resolution is quite fast. Okay. That's it. I tell you, August, man. Strength. Leo season. I'm telling you, it's within days to weeks. For some of you, that is during your period of rest or their period of rest, during your respective corners, and somebody has to figure out what the fuck is making them happy or doesn't make them happy. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Oh boy. The Tree of Life, the Ten of Pentacles. Your roots are deeply founded with this person. I see that, particularly where the love energy is concerned. It's like non con This is weird. Easy, easy. Literally two E's and two Z's. Fuck off. Yes, your reading was easy, and I appreciate that. Uh, easy, easy. <laughs> easy, Pisces. Easy. <laughs> ah, ah. Okay, the Eiffel Tower. Big romantic notions um, that can have a basis for reality. Scorpio pulled this, too, but it was in the worst way. Ugh. Big love exists. It depends on the premise and the foundation that you have that makes it sustainable or not. And it's looking like you two have a very strong, sustainable energy. Assuming this person can offer sincere apology, you know, and it's looking like it is sincere, and you're showing me a great deal of, uh, I'm listening to you, I understand, you know, um, strong sense of regard for each other. 
but uh, yeah okay grapes yes someone enjoys their wine very fruitful life okay big heart no shit big heart the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Everybody's been getting that lately. Busy, 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 busy. Mm. Keeping yourself busy, I'm sure. However, sometimes we feel like a zombie, like we're doing the same thing in, same thing out. Nothing ever changes, right? And there's that stubborn insistence, the bull, right over here. That stubborn insistence that um, like people, somebody's dragging feet. They have no goals or ambition or direction, either in life or in love. And that seems to be the biggest accusation here. It's like, uh, where's your drive? Where's your focus, man? Like, what is your intention? What is your goal? What is your ambition? And that person's just dragging feet on that. And there was that. That's what kind of set off that stubborn activity right there. Right there. Why are you always dragging feet? How come you're always unmotivated? How come something never moves forward in either our connection or in life or in work or whatever? And that's the biggest accusation by far. Okay. Pisces, that's enough. I can't believe it. We got one that's under an hour. Oh my god. Mark the date and time. How is that even possible in this channel? Wow. Well, thank you for giving me an easy one today. I, easy? Easy. I appreciate that. I really do. <laughs> Pisces, I'll see you in a couple weeks. Um, the key to this comes down really to this person's not faked but sincere efforts in wanting to rectify the situation and saying I don't want to be just friends yeah I might have had some poor influence I never wanted to leave this I hold you in high regard I have strong feelings for you I may not be the most equipped to say that but that doesn't mean I don't have them I have deep feelings I do and I, I want to offer more in terms of that ace of pentacles just please know my feelings come from a real place and sometimes, yeah, maybe my drive is lacking. Yeah, sometimes I do hold on to stubborn insistence and ideologies that aren't exactly fruitful for us or me. But I understand your accusation was coming from a place of love. You were right. Something like that. And you're just telling me over there that you're listening. And that you understand. And that you're sympathetic and empathetic. You're giving them validation. And... um you are showing me a willingness to open back up to them so long as they give you sincere effort, you know. Okay, that's enough. Pisces, put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.